the note <laughs> where where Sheikh Osman he copied this from. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yesterday I opened this page, but I did not notice. I did not look at the notes. Uh, where is the note? And here I don't see the notes, and I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure where is the notes are located. Page 489. Okay, 489. Here we go. All right, here we go. And ah, now we got it in full. Abdul Muhammad Farooq, you become the joker of the sensory. Here we go. This is where he copied. This is not the hadith, you coward. This is not a hadith. Here we go. This is the note. Let us open it and read it. Mm -hmm. You are very, you are very cute, brother. What man? What your? I'm sure your wife. She is so proud of you. So look what it says here. Actually, when I take an image, I have to zoom out. Uh, it became so small to read for you on the screen. Um, yeah, look here, it says, talking about the, the acquisition in Spain. And by the way, the acquisition of Spain, I, I know many people speak against it, but imagine somebody occupy your country for many centuries, and some people, they join them, they join the, the terrorists who attack your country, what you will do to them when they leave, when you conquer them again, and you take your land. So for sure, I mean, even in America, when somebody betrays the country, he will be executed. When uh, uh, there's a person, his name is Al-Wakili, I think, he, is, he went to Somalia and he joined Al-Qaeda. What the American did, he's an American citizen, Muslim American citizen, but he is born in the Middle East. He joined Al-Qaeda, they killed him. This is what happened in the acquisition they are talking about. People who betray the country, they joined the terrorist, just for the sake of money, they went after them. And here is talking in front of us, So this is after what is called the acquisition in Spain. This is not in the book and it's not the hadith. How in the world this idiot? Do you have a shame? Do you have even a little, little, little shame? And look what he did. He wanted supposedly to prove the a one person wrong. And now he made Islam a joke. And he made himself a joke. And you will notice that the Mohammedan, they are naive, they don't know really what, uh, any, anyone, just say anything. Make Islam look good, they will support you, even if you are a liar. Like Zakir Naik, he says, the brother Fitr, the Fitr the Arkham within. The word hur, why would the man will get hur? And would the woman will get hur? Fitr. The word hur is a poor word for a mean, a hur, a male and female. But the whole whole became male and female. It says in the Quran, Lam nobody did have intercourse and make make them lose their uh, 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 human. What a what a brain washed washed nation brain nation brain. I don't know <laughs> what Sheikh Amrani said. <laughs> So this coward, he went to a note, note, the note under the hadith, speaking about the acquisition and speaking about the popes of the Catholic. 
And this is why a, a typo, a mistake, an error in the typing, and he make he claim it is a hadith. He even narrated. He said the rain and the, the chain of narration. Let me let me read for you. Relax, relax. Like relax, man. Like what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Oh boy. Um, um, Rabbi Aman. Aman, Rabbi Aman. What we did to Uthman, he became a barbecue. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Aman, Rabbi Aman, Aman. This is a religion? Are you sure? Are you sure? All right, this is the Muslim who called me. He said he have a question. Let us take what he has said. <laughs> hello? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead, what do you want to say? Okay, um, uh, uh, I, I would just like to take uh, one, two minutes to explain why I actually uh, came here, okay? So I noticed your site um, uh, three weeks before, uh, right, we are talking. So there were a lot of references and I really like that because uh, I don't really trust the scholars because when I read the Quran, it said the opposite of what they were saying. Okay. So I took all the references, I compiled them into a PDF and then for the three weeks, I have been checking everything that uh, was written there. Okay. So, so uh, I, I then went, I opened the books uh, and I checked everything, literally every single line I checked it. And in 99.999% of what you said, it was true. Uh, like uh, there was, like it wasn't wrong. What is the 1% okay. was wrong? Oh no, that was just simply a human error. It could be done because you're also a human. Yeah, like for example, and it wasn't wrong technically because um, the, there were like, uh, it, there were interpretation. For example, the, the ayah that I quoted you a few minutes uh, before when I last talked, right? Yeah. I said, uh, the Ittu Khuzu one, right? So uh, in that, uh, the grammatic, uh, it's, it does say that the, if you read it uh, like literally, right? That um, there are two gods, right? But uh, and right next to it, it says there is only one God. But uh, you see, the, the, in, the, the it could also be like uh, read like the sentence has ended at the wa, and then uh, al masi uh, it goes on there because I because I checked. I don't know if it's true or not, but in Arabic uh, I'm still learning. I'm not fluent in it. I started learning to read the tafsir. So uh, they say that uh, what I heard and what I read uh, from a website. I don't even know the qualification of the one that wrote the website. So it, I might be wrong. So it said then that the word al it could uh, it, uh, it can be used for a specific thing or it could be show uh, proven to show uh, that it is nothing like that i don't know if it's true or not <coughs> my friend so can you confirm that me, or uh, i'm wrong if you read it says <laughs> so they took what they took their monks and their rabbis yes. as god the god. first part here is proving that this is false because yes. no christian no christian no matter what excuse they use believe that a monk or a rabbi is God. That's false. We don't. And then the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, oh, because they follow their rabbi, they don't follow their God. Well, if they do that still, that is not making them gods, you know? Because the Quran says that they took them as gods, not they follow them blindly. And then it says, instead of Allah and the Messiah. So if, if, and then it says, and they were not ordered but to worship one God, right? Hello? Are you with me? I guess I lost him. Yeah, sorry, I had... Uh, I uh, have, no, 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 it's, I have an internet issue. Yes, uh, I'm sorry so about that. When, when he says, and they've been ordered to worship one God, but isn't it the Christian, they, were, they believe that God the Father, God the Son, is, at the end of the day, is one God? Is that correct? Is it the Trinity that we believe in one God? You hear me? Look like he have issue with his internet. Yeah. Let us see, maybe there is another Muslim here. Uh, mostly this is ultimate fault, the pool ultimate fault. He's trying to, you know, he wanna 
Ultimate fault, poor ultimate fault. What we can do to ultimate fault? How we can help him? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Do you have an answer? Did you, what do you think about Sheikh Uthman quoting a note and lying about the Arabic? Uh, you speak Arabic, right? Your name is Ibrahim Bashir. So you speak Arabic. Yeah, but I have a question. Yeah, but I mean, what do you think about Uthman lying that saying there's hadith, saying there is many messiah? Do you Muslim believe that Muhammad was a messiah? No. So why this guy is lying? Do you believe that Abraham was a messiah? No. Or what about Moses? He's a messiah? No, only Jesus. Okay, so why this guy, and you are a Muslim, why this guy is saying there's many messiah? What do you think? Uh, I don't know, man. You I'm think... Not, uh... I don't think he is uh, authoritative, so I don't get. You you think he is not a person of authority, so he say as he wish. I mean, he's wrong. Uh, he admitted. But why? He's but wrong. what do you uh, you see? I'm trying to understand why you Muslims. I mean, if if a Christian says something about Islam, you Muslim, you made a million videos to fight us. How come this guy deceiving the Muslims, lying about Islam, and now many Muslim children, they believe there's many messiahs. Look, there's 124,000 people watch the video since a month and not a single muslim you see the number every single muslim he support what he is saying so now all those poor muslims they believe that sheikh Uthman was saying the truth and there is many messiah and now from now on those muslim kids will believe that yes muhammad was a messiah not only jesus so why the muslim sheikhs they don't go against him and expose him why they go silence what do you think what the reason I don't know, maybe because they don't know him. But, uh, I mean, 124,000 people watched the video, and not a single Muslim he knew that this is wrong. You watch it? There uh, some Muslims in the comments in the Arabic said he is wrong. They checked it. I did not see any Arabic comment. I didn't see. Uh, uh, you can see, even uh, the uh, anti-Islamic uh, DCCI or something, they showed comments uh, from Muslims saying that he is wrong. They well, it. I don't know. I did not see until now. Look, you see, I'm flipping in the page. Until now, I did not see. Maybe he deleted them. I don't see any Arabic comment, actually. Not even a single Arabic comment. I'm, I'm just uh, going through, as you see in the screen, and I don't see any single Arabic comment. So maybe this guy, he... Actually, me, myself, I made a comment here. Maybe he took it off. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I have a question about Sophia. All right, what about uh, the Sophia? Wife of the prophet. Okay. Uh, you, you said uh, that Muhammad raped her. Yes. It's a, uh, do you have uh, re reference? Yeah, sure. Like when uh, when Muhammad, he killed her families. Uh, okay, let me show you the reference. And you speak Arabic, right? No. So how you how you know the Arabic uh, comment in the in the Uthman? Uh, how you know the, the Arabic comment saying? The, what? How do you know what the Arabic... You said to me you saw Arabic comments. Yeah, I can translate. How you can translate? Uh, you can just click on the... Oh, uh, right, right, yeah, yeah. In, in the phone, yes. Uh, YouTube have an option to translate comments. You are right. Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, let me see, show you... Uh, uh, let me show you the reference. Here we go. And I will try to find it to you in Arabic, in English. Sorry. Uh, can, if you not, sure, can you tell me? Can you tell me the narration too? Yeah, yeah. Well, hold on. You know, we will. Uh, uh, see. All right, this is the first reference. Let us go and see it. Uh, oh, they need access to enter the website, so we could not open it. Let us see the other one.
All right, let's see here. This is, uh, we'll show you the first reference here. We start with here. Uh, this Hadith website, we cannot, oh boy. Okay, hold on. This is the first hadith here. Uh, this website is not allowing me to translate to Google, I mean Google Earth, sorry, Google uh, uh, English. They have a script, so I have to find something else. Give me more time. And you know, like as long as you saw my videos before, that's when I gave the reference in the video. So how come you did not see the the, the reference? Did you see? Yes, uh, you didn't. Uh, you, you you didn't give reference. You just I made a claim. I, I, I never spoke without uh, without reference. Never, never. I mean, you were saying many things at the same time, Muhammad. Oh, okay. Did that, uh, oh, okay. Maybe that could make an uh, okay. All right. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> I have many actually, but I want to find you an official uh, website. Uh, so you don't say this is not accepted. Is it in uh, a tabari? We will find all the reference. Give me a second. All right, here we go. Let's see this one. This one will be good for now. Uh, and this is, should be found even in the Arabic, in the in the English. Uh, here it says. Is it true that Sophia first was taken by the Hill Kalbi? Uh, yeah, but uh, Mohammed bought her. Bought her? He bought her from whom? I don't know, but he bought her for seven slaves. Okay. But it, so, the reason... but first of all, so in the beginning, Dahia is the first one who did rape her, and then she was given to Muhammad to rape her, correct? It's a change. Yeah, Muhammad, Muhammad bought her to free her he bought her to free her but uh, yeah because okay he said if you if you stay as a jew then uh, okay. uh you will be you will be free but if you convert to islam then you can be my wife oh so if you convert to islam but let me ask you did muhammad sleep with her before or after i don't know man i, I need reference okay well i'm showing you now sahih um uh uh, uh, uh Dawood. But I will show you the other one, where your prophet was guarded by a man yeah. during the time he was raping her. Let me see. 
I just see. Because this, it cannot be true that Prophet did Okay, that. we will see, you know, because if, uh, if, this is, if I cannot find it, that's mean I'm lying, and then you have the right to, you know, to say whatever you want. But if it's true, then it's true. Let us see. I will show you the reference in a second. All right? Because I, I have a narration. Okay, read with me, says, a friend. This is, this is, this is Ar-Rawdul Anif, Abu Ayyub, this is the title. Abu Ayyub, this is a Muslim website, Abu Ayyub. يحرس الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم ليلة I can't see. Uh, why you cannot see? Look on YouTube. Just mute YouTube. Okay. Mute YouTube. So muted? Mute YouTube, okay. We just keep the image coming to you so you can see. So this is the title yeah. of your Muslim website. Okay. It says here yeah. Abu Ayyub, a guy his name is uh, the father of Ayyub. He guarded the Prophet the night yeah. he did sleep with Safiya. Yeah. The book name, Ar-Rawd Al-Anif, is the series uh, Sirat al And uh, yeah, we go down here. here. Okay, let's go here. It says here, Qala okay. Ibn Ishaq, let us zoom in. Qala Ibn Ishaq, and I will use Google Translation because if we don't find it in Arabic, in English, what we can do. If you have Ibn Ishaq in English, I think there's translation for it. Maybe you can't find it. Uh, yeah. Here it says, ولما آرس رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بصفية بخيبر أو ببعض الطريق كانت التي وكانت التي جملتها الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم ومشطتها. So a woman she did a bit makeup on her, she decorated her, and then Muhammad he went inside the room and he or the tent and he stepped with her. And here it says that Abu Ayyub, Abu Ayyub, he was guarding the Prophet, holding a sword. During the time Muhammad was sleeping with this woman, why, why the man he was sleeping with, uh, why he's guarding the Prophet during the time? Because uh, he killed her uh, family. Exactly. Here it says actually in the hadith, he said to him, Malaka ya Abu Ayyub, he said, O oh, Rasulullah, I khiftu alayka min hadihi al I am afraid from this woman. And it's a woman, you, you killed her husband, you killed her father, and her husband, and her people. And she yeah. is uh, new as a kafir, you know? Yeah. Uh, but so I was afraid that you are going to, she is going to kill you. All right? Yeah. All right. So when, when your prophet, he did marry her? He married her right away in the, in the, in the street? No, but uh, well, that's because Sophia, when uh, Muhammad married her, she got happy that the prophet married her. You just killed and the, uh, my friend, my friend. I want to be honest. I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be like uh, speaking personal. But if if your wife, I'm not trying to insult you, but if your wife, a man, he come to your house and he killed you, and he killed her father, and he killed all the family and all the people, why a woman, she will be so happy to marry, you know, and the man who killed you, she's your wife, right? What do you think about such a woman? He killed her father, he killed her husband, he killed her brothers, he killed her family, he killed all her tribe. So what do you think about such a woman? I mean, the, the hadith says she was happy to marry him, but uh, even My with friend, that, this, is, uh, this is your writing, this is your writing, this is your Muslim claiming that, but, uh, but uh, anyone who knows, I mean, the woman, she did not even leave the town. She's there, I mean, uh, yeah, but, when, when a woman, when, a woman, when, women, you, when you kill somebody, family, don't they cry, go sad at least for a month or two or maybe a year? Yeah, but Muhammad, uh, Safiya said Muhammad kept apologizing to me for uh, killing the family because the uh, father used to incite uh, the Arabs against him and uh, Safiya used to, her anger used to go away. Uh, okay, so what, is, what does this have to do uh, with the question? The question is, a woman who killed her family, you killed. I mean, if I am, if I am a person who speak against Muhammad, that is not a reason to kill me. That is not a reason. Mm. If I, uh, at the same time, same time, he killed all her tribe. Right? He killed her husband. Yeah. Okay. A woman. She is the bride. Even the Hadith says that she was a bride. So, who in the world would believe that a woman she will take off her clothes to a man who just killed her family, and she will be happy to sleep with him? Especially, no, what, what, especially in this moment, she don't believe in Muhammad, right? She is not a Muslim. 
Uh, I don't know about that. What do you mean? She is just, she is, she is, a, he just came to the town, he killed all her family, she is a Jew. So right away she became a Muslim. Why? He convinced her in a debate or he convinced her because he killed her family? But what's the authenticity for this narration? I don't care, my friend. This is your, you see, you must have you asking me if it's authentic or not. I mean, this is really funny that you Muslim, you write a story about your prophet and you ask a Christian to prove that this story is true. Yeah, but uh, there is a, uh, uh, this n narration is found in Al-Tabari and yeah. the n narrator is Al-Waqidi and Al-Waqidi is a Hadith scholars to be a liar. So Al-Waqidi, he said it's a lie. No, Al-Waqidi is a liar. Oh, Al-Waqidi is a liar. Will you yeah, Muslims? Okay, so why Al-Waqidi is used? Like now we have many Muslims. Yesterday, uh, two days ago, a Muslim, he called me and he says, read Al-Waqidi. A Muslim called me and he asked me to read the Hadith, go watch it. He asked me to read the hadith from Al-Waqidi. But there's no authentic hadith which says he slept with her. What do you mean he don't, did, uh, so, okay, so, uh, guys, he, he did not sleep with her. Uh, okay, uh, did the hadith sleep with her? No, but, okay, hold on, there, there's a uh, hadith. Was Muhammad, a says... Was Muhammad a monk? No. Okay, so... The guy, you know, he is guardian your prophet, and you Muslims agree that later she became his wife, correct? And you just told yes. me, you just told me that Muhammad, he exchanged her by other seven Jews. I mean, when you say he bought her, this is funny, because he did not give money. And the, the, uh, Muhammad, he have many share, because he is the prophet, the highest share of the, of, of, of the booty. So he said to him, you said, you said the number you gave me, seven, right? So he said to Dahya, Take seven women and give me this woman, correct? Yeah. Okay. So you must have exchanging women for sex. No, but he he, he brought her for freedom. He when, said when he that, stay no, he is freedom. the one who captured her. What a freedom. He is the one who just made all her family slaves. I mean, you Muslims are uh -huh. fine. You, you Muslims are really funny. Hold on, hold on. Who is the one who made her a slave? Isn't it Muhammad? It, it was her own choice. What do you mean own choice? When you attack their, their homes and you take their, their property and you kill their family, this is what her choice? Yes, because he, he brought her for freedom and she was happy to marry him. Guys, he brought her from freedom, but she was a slave. She was the daughter of, of, the, of the leader of the tribe. She was living like a princess. So mm. as you see, Dahiya, he owned her. You just told me, right? Yeah. Okay. So Dahiya, he took her, he, 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 he raped her too. And then Muhammad, he heard that this woman, she is really beautiful. So he told Dahiya, give me this woman and take seven other women. So now you say to me that Muhammad, he brought her to freedom, but who is the one who enslaved her? Muhammad. No, but, but the, the first time when he slept with her was, was when she was married to him. There's a hadith. It, it says here, yeah, it says... My, my, friend, well, my, were... friend, my friend, my friend, my uh, friend. Let wait, us say, wait, let us wait, say wait. for the sake of argument. I mean, do the women have a choice to marry or not to marry? What does marriage mean? I mean, do we even have a witnesses? Do we have a marriage? What marriage? He took her to the tent, he slept with her. No, uh, it's just... Wife, look, no. I'll, I'll read it, look. It says, while they were arresting, the prophet wanted to consummate the marriage with her, but Sophia refused, which upset him. And later on, she accepted it. So it, it was with consent. So this hadith you gave me, is it called is it Sahih? Let me, it's from Ibn Sa'd al- Ibn who? Tabtat. Ibn Sa'd al- -tab. Ibn Sa'd, Ibn Sa'd. No, no, wait, wait. Uh, even a sad, yeah. Okay, and is that is that an authentic book too? Because now I will show. You, I can show you how it's from there. You will see. I don't accept it. I sure. Well, yeah. I can be very sure. There's tons of hadith of uh, uh, Tabakat al-Kubra 
will make Muhammad look really, really bad. Let me ask you, did your prophet torture people in order to take their money? Uh, no. No. So now, if I show you the hadith, uh, and which, which book you agree it is correct, just to know, because I might show you now books and you will say, this is not accepted, I don't accept this book. Which book you agree with it? Now we know that at-tabaqat is something you uh, agree with, correct? Uh, I accept everything if it is uh, said by scholars to be authentic. Who is the scholars? Isn't al-Waqidi a scholar himself? You just said to me al-Waqidi is a liar, but al-Waqidi is, is a scholar. Yeah, but uh, most of the hadith scholars say he's da'if. And maybe if you ask him too, he will say they are the da'if. <laughs> And if he is the Aif, why you write, why you Muslims have his books? I mean, why somebody, he is a liar, you Muslims, you write his books and you publish it and you print it and you teach it in school. And then the second we read for you, you say, oh, it is uh, Daif. What about al Bagawi? Is al Bagawi a Daif a book? al Bagawi, this is the master of uh, uh, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, he caught him. No, I no, no, not everything, not every narration. It depends on the narration. Uh, so now it's a, it's a debate in the mood. Here we go. This is Al-Baghawi, and this is your prophet, and we can show from other books too. Your prophet, the same stories. He tortured a Jew, he killed Sophia, and uh, uh, it says here, look how ugly what the Muslim did. Uh, when, when Sophia, she saw what happened, like Muhammad, he killed her family, she put her head in the dust and she started putting dust and dirt over her hair and her head. Mm. Muhammad, when he saw that, that's why he rejected yeah. her in the beginning. He says, keep this shaitan away from me. Keep this uh, one. No. Keep this shit on away from me. Just don't thing. tell me no, no, no. It's in front of you. No, no, I can. Wait, wait. It says, it, it says right there. Bilal, uh, he, he took these two women to their uh, killed family, and the prophet uh, condemned him because he cared for their feelings. He said, "Why are you taking them to their?" Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, did, did, did the women? Did she put? Right there. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay, it's right there, right there. Here we go. Let us read together. Uh, uh, it says here, فَأَصَابَ مِنْهَا سَبَايَا مِنْهُمْ صَفِيَّةَ بِنْتُ حَيَيِّ بِنْ أَخْطَبِ etc. بِلَالٌ بِهَا وَبِأُخْرَى مَعَهَا فَمَرَّ بِهَا عَلَى قَتْلَ مِنْ قَتْلِهِ So he made her walk in the top of the dead bodies of her family, correct? Yeah. Okay. When she saw them, what she did? I want to read as long as you know Arabic, read. Go ahead. What she did? She put her face in the dust. Okay. And what she started, she started doing, she was screaming, right? Yes. And she started putting more dirt in the top of his head, correct? Yes. And when the prophet saw her, he said, keep this shaitan away from me. Is that correct? Yeah. But what Muhammad mean by that? Uh, mean she is shaitan for him. This is why in the beginning he didn't take her. He gave her to the hair. But, but, but why would he... Listen, listen, you must have, you must have, you, you must have, you claim that your prophet is inspired. The why he is thinking that she is shaitan. And you are the one who told me she was happy. A second ago, you were telling me the woman, she was happy to be the wife of the prophet. But do you see what she's doing? Why she put her head in the dirt? Go ahead, tell me. Because she just saw her dead family. Exactly. So the woman who saw her dead family killed by the man standing in front of her, now she is in love with the man and she just yeah. saw him and he is the one who killed her family and muhammad called her shaitan right yes okay and then muhammad he threw his dress or abaya over her so the muslim they knew that he chose her for himself correct yes all right but it was out of love though not out of uh, because he he, he desired her or something. Okay, so because guys, it's out of love. Muhammad, no. this is how Muhammad he loved. Muhammad he loved, he loved a woman. He go, he killed her father. He killed her brother, husband. He killed her brother. He killed her, her family. And uh, because he loved her, out of love. Yes, they fought again. 
Huh? They fought against the prophet. They fought against the My prophet. friend, what kind of love? If you, are, if you have a little sense of a human being, a woman, she just lost everybody, and you take her to the bed, and you ask her to take off her clothes, and you rape her. What kind of a human being he would do that? And as long as you are saying she love it, right? So why, it says there, she put her head in the ground, she put dirt in the top of her, she covered herself with dirt, and she was screaming, and Muhammad, he told them, keep her away from me, she is shaitan. Did he call her shaitan? Yes. Okay. So she, he no, was, no, wrong. He not, he was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong when he said he, she is shaitan or he was right. No, but he didn't say keep them away from me. He said keep them away from the dead bodies. No, it says as as Abu Hani had the shaitan. Let me zoom for you in case you have a weak uh, vision. Had the shaitan only her. Had the shaitan, and this is the link for everybody in the chat. You can use Google Translation to translate. So how how happy the woman is, and uh, why he called her the shaitana? Reason, the reason she was uh, happy was because she accepted Islam and she knew it was the truth. So right away the woman she he killed her father, he killed her husband. She put her head in the dirt and she starts screaming like crazy. And Muhammad he called her shaitan because she is going crazy and because she was happy, according to you, right? Accepted Islam right away. Yeah, but he said. To Bilal, are you the word of mercy that you take to women? My friend, uh, what kind of mercy your prophet he have? He just killed her family. If he have a mercy, he will not kill them. But killing the family and marrying the girls in the Bible too. Our friend, no, no. If you go in the in the Bible, you will see that if a, if a, if a Jewish uh, army, they capture uh, 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 females, they cannot touch them for six months before they marry them. They marry them. And after six months, and even they make the women shave their head, so the man will not even desire or think of them. Oh, okay, so hold on. Uh, so let's say you kill a, a girl's family, you take her as a slave, you shave her head, and six months you marry her. You no, if she, 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 she wants, if she want, but he cannot sleep with her, not like the Quran, you can rape her without marriage. A Jew, wait, wait, wait. if she agree to marry him, if she agree, if he want to take her as a wife, then, after six months, he can ask her to marry him because well, he cannot force her anyway because she will hate him. She can kill him. She can put poison for him. Is that your own interpretation or from the no, Bible? No, this is what the Bible says. The Bible says they have to shave their head, shave their head, and after six months from that date, after they conquer them, if he want to marry her, to marry her. Before that, he can sleep with her. Now, you're a prophet, he did not marry. What is the marriage? What is marriage in Islam? He did. What is, the, what is marriage in Islam? Nikah. Okay. Nikah is what? You ask a woman to marry you, correct? And she has to agree. Yes. Okay. Show me the reference. That she, he asked her to marry him, and he said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to marry you. Go ahead. Because she agreed to sleep with him. What do you mean she agreed? He have a guard in the, in the, the this guy is a criminal. He have an army no. with him. No, it's not true. It's Daif Hadith. This is the, this is Al Waqidi. This is sorry, Al, al Baghawi. This is Daif Hadith now. Which uh, no, but uh, my friend, aren't you just aren't you you just agreed that the women she put dirt in the top of her face, her head, she was screaming like crazy. Is that the women that she was is? From the beginning, listen, yeah. listen. In the beginning, exactly. But then he took her in the same day. In the same day, did not even leave the town. He put a tent. He raped her. No, not true, man. What do you mean it did not do that? <laughs> you just, okay, hold on, hold on. It's in front of you, it says, he, you're a prophet, he put, he put his dress over her, and this is how the Muslim they knew that he chose her for himself. Is that correct? Yes, because... Okay, he that. chose her, he chose her for what? To marry her. But... You Muslims, you take them as a slave. You don't marry them. No, but the prophet. Yeah, but the prophet said. If okay, you let me ask you. Jew, Does the Quran says that a woman you capture from war you can rape? Yes or no? Oh, what what does this have to do with what the prophet did? Because this is what the prophet did. Here we go. No, he, he no hold on. This is this is the Quran says. This is who is lawful for Muhammad to sleep with. It says. 
a captive woman from war. Here we go. This is a specific verse was made for Muhammad specifically, not all Muslims. And the other Muslims, by the way, they can do the same too. But this is a verse in the Quran, chapter 33, verse number 50. It says, And a captive woman, and a captive woman, it's, it's lawful for you, women who they are offering themselves, or a captive woman, you, they, they call them the right hand process. If you don't like this translation, we can change it. This is a big tell. We can go yeah, I to... I, I agree, I agree. In, in Islam, the rules okay. for so who is the who is the one, who is the woman you can you can sleep with? A captive woman, is that correct? Without, yes. Without marriage, okay. So why you are saying to me no? Because that's, uh, I'm talking about Sophia specifically, what he did. My friend, she is a captive said, of no, war. No, she is a captive of wait. war. Okay, let, 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 let us let us see. Let us wait, see, wait, let wait, us wait, see wait, the stupidity. No, let's, listen, my friend, <laughs> let us see. So you are saying to me, the prophet, he raped all other women from war except Sophia, correct? Prove to me he raped women. Well, it says here, in the front of you, it is lawful for okay. you. Hold on. Okay. It's lawful for okay. you. Now, listen, listen. Does it say in the front of you, it's lawful for you? Okay, huh? which woman did he rape? All of them. Okay, now, All name of them, as an example, Bani al-Mustaliq. Bani al-Mustaliq. He yeah. killed their family too. He took her as a slave and he raped her. Is that correct? Prove it. No, so it's, it's, in it's, in the, it's in the front of you. Here we go. Bani al-Mustaliq at, uh, attacked Muhammad first. Uh, Abdul. Uh, uh, this is your this is your own lie. You can lie as much you want. But anyway, let us no, say, no, let us no, say, no. let us say, let us say that. But as you see, the hadith saying that the people they were just feeding their animals. They were not fighting anyone. They were busy with their life. And Muhammad he had attacked them, and he did not even say why. Okay? Do you know? Because, uh, do you know? How, do you know how to read? Do you know how to read? Wait, because Muhammad. Do you, do you know how to read? 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 Yes, sir. Okay. Do. Does it say that those people, they are not even aware of war in the front of you? All those hadith. They yeah, are but not. You need to know the, you need to know the full, st full story. Okay, but this is the story. This is your full story written by Muslims. It says here, no. the messenger of Allah, he attacked them, and those people, they are not aware. But in the book of uh, Ibn Ishaq, it says that they, uh, the Prophet... But when I show you the hadith, they... when I show you the hadith from Ibn Ishaq, you say this is da'if. Not everything is da'if. Oh, so it's uh, depending on the mood. If we like the hadith, it is the... Ibn Ishaq is a one person. He, he lie and he tell the truth at the same time, right? No, no. Ibn Ishaq, sometimes he used to narrate uh, use, useless sayings from unknown people. Okay. So I want you to read for me. Them. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Does it say that the Prophet, he attacked them without warning? Yeah. Okay. With, oh, and they are headless. They do not know why. It's in front of you. Yeah, I know. Because uh, okay. they uh, plotted against him. So we... No, no, hold on. Uh, How they are bl blocking against him. And you know, what does this even have to do with our topic? We were talking about raping women, right? Yeah. Okay. So now he attacked them. He took all the women. And what they did with the women? Uh, they kept them as servants. They did not trade them. Uh, it's what you define as rape. Because Sleep the with them. Sleep rape. with them. You take women from their families, you sleep with them. Is that rape or not? No, it's not. So you are saying to me, if somebody kill, your, uh, kill you and take your sister, she will be happy to sleep with the one who killed you. So you're saying it's rape? I'm but, saying, uh, I'm asking you a question. So if somebody killed you and he take your sister or your wife and he slept with her in the same night, he is okay for you. It's okay. Your, your sister, your wife, she will be proud to sleep with this guy. This is your Muslim women uh, ethic, correct? But the, uh, uh, the Quran says that we have to be ask that, to ask the, uh, answer, answer, answer. If somebody killed you and take your wife and your sister and your mother and he decide to sleep with them, Muslim women, they have an ethic. It's okay. So what if he killed our, our son? So what okay. if he killed our father? So what okay, he, okay. if he killed our husband? So answer me. Your sister, she would be proud to sleep with the one who killed you? Hold on. At least we keep them alive in the Bible. Hold on, hold on. So, no, no, no. You see, the Quran says they are captive. They are not wives. If they are wives, yeah. it says wives. Can you show me where it says they are wives? 
But in the Bible, it says kill women. In Islam, we don't kill the women. No, we you kill women. You want to show you? No. You want to? You want me to show you? But it's, it's right in the front of you. Do you want me to show? Do you, do you want me to show you that you're a prophet? Actually, even the story of Sophia, there's a woman she was killed because she was screaming. Is that correct? But but even little uh, children, girls. Let, let me killed. let me show you. Is it a true too? Your prophet says you can kill children. Anyone that has not reached puberty is not permissible to well, kill. Well, this is a child, you idiot. If somebody did not know, it says if you don't have hair, if you don't have hair, not puberty, if you don't have hair around his penis, we kill him. However, here, it says, the Muslims, they ask the prophet, if we attack, when we attack, we are killing children and women. Is that okay? He said, so what? They are from them. It's in front of you. Uh, was this before or after the attack? What before or after? I mean, you kill people after the attack? No, but Muhammad, he appointed Abu Bakr. You just said, you just said, we don't kill women and children. They asked the Prophet, we are, uh, we are killing ch women and children. He said, they are from them. So there's no pro problem. And in the top of that, uh, is it true that there's a woman, she insulted the Prophet. Her husband, he was a blind man. He killed her because she insulted the Prophet. And because what of that... Huh? Well, what is the name of the woman he killed? Uh, you know her, you want her social security too? No, but what is the name of the woman? We will show you the hadith. But, uh, no before, we, before we show you the hadith, if a woman, she insulted the prophet, and she yeah. is a woman, you said we don't kill women, right? No, oh, except for uh, reasons. Ah, for reasons. except for a reason, no, but, except but for wait, a reason. So do you kill women or not? In, in war, we don't kill them. I just, the hadith in front of you, and now she is not in war. This is a woman, she is a servant. She's a black woman, she's an African woman. She don't like Muhammad. Her master, her master, her master, he told her, don't insult the prophet. She don't like him. Okay, and then, I want and I want I'm asking you, so if a woman, she is a black African woman, she insulted the prophet, do you almost then kill her? Okay, show me the hadith. I'm asking you the question before I show you the hadith. Do you Muslim kill her, yes or no? In Sharia? If, if in Sharia, if anyone insults the Prophet, we kill him, yes. Okay, so why you say to me we don't kill women? Because, you, you, bro, I said for good reasons. Uh, this is a good reason? Of course, if anyone insults ah, the Prophet, So now why you don't kill me then? Because you're a coward? <laughs> yeah, you're a coward. Your prophet, here we go. Your prophet is a donkey. I want you to kill me. No, no, no. Just to show you how coward you are, Muslims. When people are weak, you go after a woman, she is weak, right? Because she can't defend herself. She is a slave. And we kill her. Anyone insult the prophet. But when the American, they are the biggest country in the world, the most powerful, they insult your prophet, you don't dare to wage war against them. You go against a woman. Is that correct? No. But no, I, 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 here we go. Your prophet is a donkey. I want you to threaten me that you will kill me. Go ahead. You there? Ah, uh, so you are lying about the hadith. You're lying about the hadith. So you are, you are a coward and you don't dare even to threaten me. Here we go. The hadith in front of you. Read it. Okay, and, let me and see. And this is a daif hadith. Yes, because I'm going to expose you. Okay, go read. It's daif hadith. Okay. Read it. Let me see. It says she began to slander the prophet and abuse him. Okay, and what she do to him? Do, 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 do she use a, to spank the prophet? What, how, how, how she abuse him? Do she spank him? No, but, no, but you said insult. Yeah, you, I don't know. I mean, you, you tell me what she do. How, how a woman, know. how a woman, she abuse a man. He is a leader of an army. Is your prophet, is, okay. a, is your prophet like, you know, she used to jump in the top of his shoulder. She beat him. Um, she jailed him in the, in the dark room, under the stairs, with the, with, with the rat, in the rat room, with the mice, like children in Middle East schools. What she do to him exactly? When you ask you say she abused him, what she do? Uh, I don't know what she did. Yeah, ah, me okay. Let us assume she gave when him a finger. Let us assume she gave him a finger. Do you agree with that? No. 
Wait, hold on. Why not? I, I, I need to find a hadith. It's in front of you. Is it authentic? It's a daif, I told you already. No, but I'm, I'm being serious though. Is it daif or not? Yeah, my friend, it's, da it's daif already, I told you. No, it's sahih. You lie. Uh -huh. But all the hadith I gave you, all the, all the hadith I gave you, they are sahih. And you said to me daif. You see the stupidity? Here we go. It no, is. It is sahih, you, do, you, see, you see the coward? Now, you said to me, you said to any hadith I'll give you, you said to me, it's daif. No, this is sahih. This is sahih. Thank you very much, because this is the game you were playing. I was predicting you would say to me, daif. So you went, you search it, and you try to be smart, and now you fix it, supposedly. Okay, so now it's the authentic. So why this woman, she was killed by a dagger, and the prophet, he says, no punishment for the killer? Wait, did the Prophet uh, order it? What? Wait, let me see. He forbade her, but she did not stop. He rebuked her, but she did not give up on her habit. Mm. One night she began to slander the Prophet and abuse him. So he took a dagger, placed it on her belly, and pressed it and killed her. Mm. And? A child. Okay, no problem. I have no problem with this. So why you lie to us? You say we Muslim, we don't kill women. Now, I'm talking about the, uh, the rules of war. In this war, is the rule of war. This is a woman, she is wearing war in Muhammad, according to you now. Sophia, when she was with her family, don't they abuse the prophet, say he's a false prophet? You kill her. You see the, you see the hypocrisy? So, hold on. You, so you must tell me, you kill even people for opinion, not even for waging real war. Opinion. A woman, you must tell me, you lie to people, you say, in Islam, you know, they say there's no compulsion in religion, you can't choose your religion, you know, you are free, we don't force you, and here we go. The woman, she just say, Muhammad is a false prophet. What do you do? You kill her. And now Muhammad is being the judge. He said, well, as long as she abused me, yeah, there is no retaliation for her blood. Does it say that in front of you? Just because she... On. And now, let me ask you, what is the proof that this guy even is saying the truth? Hold on, uh... Uh, doesn't the Bible say to kill? Don't, don't be stupid. Parents? What is the proof? Wait, wait, wait. What is the proof that she she did what he is saying? It's right. It's right in the front of you, bro. What is the proof that she said that the woman she's dead already? Hold on, but the, doesn't the Bible say? Don't change the topic. Child? What is wait. the proof? I want to show you how stupid as judge your prophet. The killer, he said to him, will she abuse you, prophet? Now, how we knew that this guy is not lying? Maybe she did not even say that. How Muhammad, he take his side right away? Did he investigate? The guy, he stood up. Well, just, just, just to show you how faithful this man is, the man, he just stood up. He said to him, prophet, I am the one who killed her. She is my, you know, my slave. I sleep with her always. I have kids from her. And as you see, you said to me, we don't sleep with the one who sleeps without marriage. But the man, he never married her, and he have a bunch of kids from her. And even he showered the kid, which he have from her with her blood. Look how evil he is. And now he claimed that the woman, she insulted the prophet. Now, how your prophet found out that he is saying the truth? You are a judge, and now you are in a court. A guy, he killed the woman. The, crim the criminal, the killer, he says, she insulted your prophet. Okay, how Muhammad, he discovered that this is true. Are you alive? Can you, yeah, no, what do you mean you do not know? What do you mean do not know? If, if Muhammad is a prophet and he inspired by God, then he should not, he should, he should not even make all this uh, noise because already he knew what happened. He's a prophet. Allah will tell him. But look what happened. Just the guy, so he I... said, just the guy, he said what he said. Muhammad, he took his side because he, first of all, she is a black African and she's a slave. And the man is a white man. And your prophet is a white man. And who care for the blood of a black slave. Is that correct? The prophet Muhammad was not white. Huh? The prophet Muhammad was not white. He was not white? No. Okay. The, you said to me, At-Tabaqat al-Kubra is a book you agree with. If I show you that your prophet was very white, what you would do? But this is talking about his new, his light around him. Because the, no, I will, show you, I will show you the light, of, uh, the light of his anus. What you would do? The light of his skin. The light of his skin. The light of his skin. Okay, hold on, hold on. In the, in the hadith... When we will go there, hold on. We will go there. We will oh, go oh there. My, just, my, just, my. Just, 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 just wait, just wait. Let me okay. ask you. Is it true in Islam that if a, if a Muslim man killed a slave, a white man, he killed a black slave. Wait, can I... No, 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 you're not, we don't want to change the topic here. We will go there. We will go about how Muhammad is white or black. 
if if a, oh, if a white Muslim, he's brown. He's brown. If a white Muhammad was a brown, Mr. Brown. Okay, we will see. He's tasted chocolate. We will see that. So, uh, if if a man he is a white Muslim, he killed a black African person, and he is a slave. Is that punishment is going to be equal? Is this Muslim man will be killed for killing a slave? Yes or no? Uh, no, it's abrogated. It's abrogated. What does that mean? It's it's not uh, in use anymore. We don't okay. Use that so word. you are agreeing that the Quran, Allah, He made a verse saying that a, a slave for a slave, a free for free, women for women. So if a if a white man he killed a black man, the white man will not be killed. And now you are saying to me, it's abrogated. Why? Allah is He found that He is wrong. It's Why? abrogated by chapter five, four, verse forty-five. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it's abrogated. We will go with that. But what kind of God, he says, in the case of the murder, the punishment of a free man killing a black person is to kill another black man owned by the free man. Is that correct? Okay, so you're talking about unjust, right? My is that, is that and no, I'm asking you, is that just? Okay, hold on. In your Bible... Don't change, I'm asking you. Did your, did your God change the law? Yes. Okay, why? You, you can search up what scholars say about no, that. No, no, I, I want you, you. You are the scholar because all the scholars are liars, as you see. Whatever I show you, say I don't agree with them. So I'm asking you, if Allah is, was Allah right when he said this verse? But hold on. Uh, if, was if, Allah if, if you, right? Was Allah right when he said this verse? But why are you scared to let me talk? I'm asked because you are trying to escape the question. Was Allah right no, when not. he said this verse? Was Allah right when he one. was was <laughs> Allah? Because you see, this is what the Muslims do. They try to avoid. You can scream. I hear the scream coming like a fort. So, chapter two, verse one seventy-eight. Was Allah right when he said this verse? Wait, uh, I want to say one thing about you the Bible. You can say, you can say you about the Bible as much as you want. As you see, this program is not about the Bible, but you must have you tried to escape. So are you ashamed okay. now? If you, are, you, are you ashamed of your Quran to the point you want to escape to a different topic? Wait, I want to make two things. So you I'm asking you, you was Allah wrong when he made this oh verse? Don't say, oh my God, so oh my Allah. So oh my Allah. And Allah have a shame. Okay, but, okay. okay but, may the shame of Allah again. bless you. Can wait, you answer wait, me? Wait. Can you answer me, please? Was Allah wrong when He said, "If a black, if a white man kill a black man, it's okay, and he will not be killed for doing that"? Do you agree with it or you are against it? Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Yeah, I'm I'm speaking Arabic. Listen. Everybody, everybody is laughing. قال له يا فرحان لو بسوك ما ضبطوا من وجهك قال لي من خناقه. اه ام بدوي يا ول ام بدوي مور ذان ابوك اسمع 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 يا بدوي اسمع يا بدوي يا نوري يا نوري يا صحلوك اسمع. It says in the front of you all who you believe prescribed for you made obligatory that a donkey. It's equal term. Okay, so if a free man, if a free man coward he hang up. If a free man killed. He will be killed for a free man, not for a slave. Do you see it? He said that this, he hang up the coward, son of Muta. Uh, he said this verse is abrogated. Why? Because people they start laughing at him. People they start laughing at, at this law. <laughs> Yes, uh, Sam Shaman, how are you, my friend? My, my, my brother Lion, I sent you a link. This guy last week was on my YouTube channel. He yeah. said he was going to rape my daughters. Yeah. And he said he was going to do anal sex with me and our God. That's this kid I sent you the link. Be well, careful. Uh, obviously, he is, a, he is one of them. You know, he do anal sex. <laughs> exactly. So he's a very filthy, dirty, low life. Yeah. Respect. You'll hear him. I sent you a link on my YouTube channel talking about raping my daughters and anal sex with me and my God. So he is filth. Yeah, you it's know? okay. I mean, we are used to them. But you see, you see the cowardice of those people. They try to change the topic. Exactly. And you know, Sam, as long as we are mentioning this, uh, you are very well versed in the Bible. So how, how the Hebrew treat their slaves when they enslave them? Yeah. Women specifically. It's in Deuteronomy 21, 10 to 14. Guys, don't take my word for it. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 21. Verses 10 to 14. 
And when he says that the Israelites, no, the Israelites were only allowed to fight the Canaanites in that land. It's talking about if another nation attacks them and God gives Israelites victory, they see a captive woman. It says, beautiful, you cannot touch her. You give her time to mourn. She shaves her head, trims her nails. She has to change her clothes, give her time to mourn for her family. Then you marry her, marry her, giving her the status of an Israelite wife. But if you are displeased with her, you cannot sell her. She is free to go. She's not your see, property. See, people, do you see the difference? A Muslim, and not only that, the Quran allowed the Muslims even to use captive girls as a pimp house. They forced them into prostitution. Not only they sleep with them, not only they exchange even between each other, like take my slave to sleep with her, I will take your slave. Uh, the same book, actually, the, the, the Sheikh Uthman, he was mentioning, it's full of stories like that. And as you see here, this is the Bible in front of us. As I told him, the women, she have to shave her hair. And why? Why, why, uh, why some she have to shave her hair? Yeah, well, two things. Number one, when you lose a loved one, it was the custom Israelites to shave their head and okay. put on ashes. But here, it also, like you said beautifully, if the man was just lusting for her, when you see a bald woman, you're not going to lust for her. Exactly. So this makes sure that you want to marry her because you love her, not because you lust for her like Muhammad, the filth. Exactly. So you see how we get them busted? You are beautiful. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, when they say to us that Islam is about justice, we find that they go rape, they go kill. All the women Muhammad he have, he have either, you know, either from he marry, there's no other options. Or they are slaves. There's no other options, you know. And notice in that verse says, you cannot sell them. You yeah. don't own them. You the Muslims, them the Muslims, they own them, they sell them, they use them for prostitution, they rape them. Uh, even now, actually, and now, I remember a story of a woman, she was, she was, she went to, uh, she, uh, you know, like those uh, Saudi, they go and marry from poor countries, you know? So, like, they go and find where, where a country, the uh, poor people, so they have, like, a bad economy. And uh, the family would be happy that she would marry a Saudi man. He have money, you know, at least he can support her and he can support the family. So what he did, he married her, he took her to his country. When she arrived there, he was asleep with her, his father, his sons, his brothers, his friends. They locked her inside the house in Saudi Arabia, women cannot leave. And the women, she didn't know where to go. After many years, she was able to smuggle a paper when she, she convinced him to go to the market to buy some stuff and always they send with her somebody. Uh, she wrote a paper. She, uh, 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 once she went to a store, she found a person from her country who speak her language. So when she went to the store, she smuggled a piece of paper, a letter, saying to him, please deliver this to the embassy. Please save me. You know, this is what they are doing to me. And then the embassy, they start making uh, like a legal process and they were able to take the women. Uh, actually, no, sorry, I am wrong. They did not actually, they, they could not. They, uh, they, they made uh, uh, like, they, they prepare for her like she can't, when she come next time to the store, she t tell like when, what day she can come. And then they prepare for her a escape car to the embassy. And then from the embassy, because she is in the embassy now, they were able to take her to her country. So this is how filthy, how evil this, this, this religion is, you know? And until now, the only countries who own slaves is Muslim countries. Until now. God, CP, I thank God for your knowledge. I just want to say, I don't want to take that. And before you go, Sam, yeah. did Jesus ever own a slave? Not one slave. What Jesus about, became what about, slave. What about the disciple of Jesus? The disciples of Jesus owned no slaves. In fact, the beauty of our God, it says Jesus became a slave to serve the Father in saving us. I mean to that. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Brother, for I want people to know, I'm, I'm always listening to you in the background. I don't say much because I learned from you. And I say that and I thank God for your knowledge. And just to let people know, because we don't speak Arabic, we make your hadith available in English. So I have an article on Safiya. I gave you the link in English because right. we don't speak Arabic. We're dependent on you. Those of you who don't know English, Answering Islam, we have an article. What, so what is the name of the article? Uh, right here, I sent you the link. It's Muhammad's marriage to Safiya, a case study in Allah's mercy. I gave it to you in the link. So, okay, they can search the title too for those who hear it later. I love you. you Thank are my you. Hero, God, bless God bless you. God bless you. Take care.
See how the, uh, Islam is an embarrassment? In your Bible, in your Bible, in your Bible, in my Bible. The whole nation of the Jews has been taken as slaves. The whole nation. Even though it was thousands of years ago, still the Jews, they did not do what the Muslim does. We don't kill women unless she insult the Prophet. All the women who don't believe in Muhammad insulting the Prophet. Everybody who don't believe, it's an insult to say, I don't believe in Muhammad. So everybody is lawful to kill. You see the hypocrisy? And here, by the way, when we ask him, why the Muslims, why Allah, he said he to me, he said this verse is abrogated. And this is additional proof that Islam is a, is a, is a fourteen religion. This God, he made Allah, he was not sure it is correct or wrong. But then after he said that, the people, they start complaining, says, what kind of justice does justice say? What is that? I kill, I kill your wife, you kill my wife? But that means we have two victims now. I kill your slave, you kill my slave. So now we have two slaves, poor slaves, they did nothing. And the white Muslim man is free. You see how they lie? Say to Islam goodbye. Who is a brave Muslim he dare to call us? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Islam is my joke. And Muhammad is dead under the rock. And we are people who follow the living Messiah. Even in the cult of Muhammad, he is life up in heaven. And Muhammad like a cockroach, he is dead. Hey, Muhammad, are you there? I'm dead, you idiot. Oh, but I thought you are dead, but you're alive. Isn't it the hadith says, salatukum? The coward Muhammad, he claimed that when he is dead, he still can receive the Muslim prayer. Just to show you the low IQ and the low intellect of this man. This is Muhammad's statement. This is Da'if. It says Sahih. This is Da'if. It says Sahih. This is Da'if. It says Sahih. It's Da'if. It's Sahih. It's in front of me. It says Sahih. Look at this. Muhammad, he said, among the most excellent of your days is a Friday. So if, uh, invoke many blessings. Not, by the way, this is false translation. Not many blessings. It says, make many prayer on me. Salat. فَأَكْثِرُ عَلَيَّ الصَّلَاةِ Liar when they translate. Doesn't say blessing. فَأَكْثِرُ عَلَيَّ الصَّلَاةِ Pray a lot on me. فَيِهِ فِيهِ فَإِنَّ صَلَاتُكُمْ مَرُودَ عَلَيْ So he says, invoke many prayer on me, for your prayer will be brought to me. The companion, they said, will Muhammad, how our prayer will be coming to you, and you will be decayed, will be dead. He said, Allah forbid the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. Just to show you how donkey he is. Let us say for the sake of argument, his body never consumed. But you are dead. You are telling them that your prayer will be is going to be displayed in front of me. Are you dead or alive? And what decay of the body have to do with you? Dead or alive? Do you see the stupidity? Right now we have the Pharaoh body. The Pharaoh. Many of them, their body is exists tens thousands of years. Can we display the prayer on, on, on the Pharaoh? He's dead. So Muhammad now he claimed because he's a low IQ stupid donkey. He claimed that because his body will not decay, the prayer will be submitted to him and he can see it. And guess what happened? After Muhammad he dies, Daif, Daif, Hadith. After Muhammad he died, his body stink. Not even three days. The Muslim they refused to bury Muhammad for three days. Why? Because he said this. Muhammad, he told them this. He told them, my body will not decay. Prophet, his body don't decay.
So this is not, you know, did not bury him. And then the Hadith says, he stink. Is that a correct hadith? Let us see. <laughs> it's Daif. It's Daif. Al Waqidi is Daif. Al Waqidi is good when they want. Al Waqidi is a liar when they want. Hmm. Let us open uh, your books. Do you remember this guy he just mentioned to me that he found reference, which is true reference from At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra? And I told him, if I find you at At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra, you will regret. Here we go. This is At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra. <laughs> the one who just called me, he said he accepted At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra. Al-Waqid is a liar. But this is At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra. It says here, Al Abbas, he said, Inna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yasanu kama yasun al bashar. He stink like all humans, they stink. Translate, Google translates them. I don't know if the translation is correct. What the word this, uh, this spares mean? I don't know what the spares mean. Let me see in, in Google. I don't know. This word is new for me. I want to see what this word means. Despair meaning. Yeah, this is like one of the difficulty, like when a person is not uh, too much fluent in English. Uh, I don't know, here it says lose hope in Google translation. I don't know, this is not correct. In Arabic it says he stink, you know. Here it says lose hope. What does despair mean? Yeah, this is not correct translation. So do you see it Muslims? This is the book of at tabaqat Al-Kubra. Very number two. I'm not like Sheikh Uthman who take a note, not from the book, and again, this is a hadith. at tabaqat Al-Kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'ad, very number two, page number two, six, seven. Daif. Daif. It's Daif. I'm telling you it's Daif. But the second I go, you tell me at tabaqat Al-Kubra is okay. You're a prophet, he stink. Where is Jesus now? He's alive. Where Muhammad is? He stink. A stinky pinky prophet. Actually, there is another hadith says, What the heck does that mean in Arabic? His stomach became full of fart. Let us show you that too. What the heck? <laughs> oh boy. What the rubber button? Let us see this hadith. You know, when a human being, he died because of the food is inside his body, whatever food he ate before, that uh, uh, the, the bacteria, they will start, you know, consuming the food, even though he's dead. And that will generate gas. And now because he's dead, so there is no way for his body to function normally, his belly will start getting bigger and bigger and bigger until his belly is full 
and it cannot take more gas. So what they do, or what, what the body does, simply, normally, like you are putting too much gas inside the balloon. The gas will explode. So what will happen? He will start farting. Let us show you some reference. But the rubber, what now? What a prophet. <laughs> Anything is embarrassing is Daif, brother Daif, is Daif. Okay. Let us see his hadith. So why the, the Muslims, they, they bury Muhammad? They bury him only when his belly becomes so big. And this is again at Tabaqat al-Kubra. The same book, this guy, he said to me, read from it at Tabaqat al-Kubra. Valley number two, page number 271. What it says here. Let us highlight. <laughs> So they waited after his death until his belly became big, which is full of gas and fart. Translation. Uh, and the Muslim, they were struggling, you know. Uh, about but he's not he's not dead he can't be, <laughs> he can't be dead he told us he is a prophet he will not his body will not decay and Abu Bakr look look so they waited until his stomach the translation here is funny until his stomach became full of fart. <laughs> This is Muhammad ibn Sa'ad, At-Tabaqat al-Kubra, variant number two, page number 271. And let me post the link actually for you, so you can save the reference and you can use Google Translation. The Prophet who is really full of fort. Look how much Allah, he cared for Muhammad. I could not post it because it says long link. Okay, very long, so we have to shorten the link, hold on. Right. Let us shorten the link so we can post it for you. Okay, here we go. All right, this is the link if you like to save it. Later you will ask me, where do you come find those references? I will not answer you. All right? Who is next? So this is our story today with Uthman ibn Farooq, the ketchup boy who added a notebook, a note from a book, which is printed a few years ago, claiming that this is a chain of narration, and this is a hadith, and this is authentic hadith, that there is many messiah. And not only that, he quoted a, 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 a typo. <laughs> relax, relax, brother, relax. I know you are nervous, relax, relax, I got you here. So the poor guy, he went home. Since the last time our brother, he spoke to him, again, this is his channel for those who did not join his channel, all right? Let us see how many people did join since I said, uh, it was a 3,000.51K. Let us refresh the page. Let us see if you guys are helping. Ah, so we have only uh, what, uh, what can we, we have we have eighteen hundred people here. Come on, we should have right away you know at eighteen hundred people to to join the, the the page. Why we Christians don't care to support each other? Here we go. This guy is a fool. 
This guy is a fool. Go and see how much support he get from the Muslims. Why we Christians, we need to, to beg you, please go and support this guy. Why? Didn't you automatically go? So we said, go guys and subscribe, nobody go. So why you are here? What's exactly your purpose of being here? If you don't care, why you are here? If you don't care, leave. If you don't care, just leave. We want only people who care. The Lord, he says, the one who deny me, I deny him. The one who deny those who defend the faith, the Lord will deny them too. Because they are doing a job you are not doing. My friends, thanks the Lord, and actually um, I really, I will, I will tell you something, I don't talk about, I don't like to talk about ethnic groups, but I really love the passionate of the African people. I love how amazing they are. You know, many people, they try to put, uh, like, you know, say to you, uh, like, there's many crimes between, but you see, those people, they are, like every ethnic group, there's bad, there's good. But Christian black people are amazing. They work from their heart. When they go for a mission, they go from their heart. You know, one day, the white man, he come to the black man to, to tell him about, about Jesus. You believe it or not, today, the black man is coming to the full white man, say to him, you idiot, how in the world you leave Jesus? There's a story of uh, a white European man. He went to Brazil. I will keep the image on the screen so people can see and go subscribe. He went to Brazil and he wanna go in Amazon River, in the jungles. He need a guide from the local. So he hired a guide, you know, and this guide is a Brazilian. Uh, you know, Brazilian, they have like a darker skin or dark skin. Uh, he's holding the, you know, a small book in his hand. When they take a break, he sit and he read from it. The white man, he said to him, what, what, what are you reading? He said, oh, this is the Bible. The white man, he said to him, what are you doing, man? We stopped doing those things a long time ago. You read this book? Are you serious? Now? Now you read this book. This uh, Brazilian uh, brother, he did not say anything. He took the insult in a friendly way. He said, yeah, I, I, I'm a believer, you know, and I love to read it. So he did not say anything. Then they continued going, and then he took him to a cave for his tribe, the tribe of this Brazilian man. Yeah. So there they found a lot of bones of a human. The white man, he was astonished. He said, what is that? He said, here, my tribe, they used to eat people, their enemies. We, we capture a human, any human we see, not from the tribe. We capture him, we kill him, we cook him, we eat him. The white man, he said, and now you don't do that? He said, no. He said, why? He said, because of this book. <laughs> because of this book, you made fun of. If not this book, you will be in my dish, you idiot. If not this book, today, my tribe will be eating you, European boy. And they claim and they lie and they say, oh, Christianity came to America, South America, destroy their civilization, destroy. Christianity saved life. Christianity changed life. That is Jesus, my friend. If not this book, you will be in my dish. I, I will be savage, and I will be the same as Muhammad. I will be raping your wife.
I think we have enough for today. I hope we have a good time. Don't forget to subscribe to our brother and any other brother you think he is a good, doing a good job. Those people deserve our support. Please support them. And